my name is Loïc Charpentier. I'm working for Water Europe now for four years. And Water Europe is the European Association of the Water uh, Sectors. What is your role in the Ultimate Project? So the role of Water Europe in Ultimate Project is to contribute to the communication and the exploitation of the outcome of the project. So both in terms of uh, awareness for the water uh, community, but also uh, for the policymakers. How do you describe a circular economy and a water smart industrial symbiosis? Uh, so circular economy is to close the loop uh, of the production process. You try to reuse as much as possible and also you try to make the waste of your industry uh, a resource or a raw material for another industry or for another product. So if you apply um, this concept of a circular economy, what can be improved? 80% of the saving or the efficiency for resources that we can do, in fact, it's at the conception. So if you are already thinking since the beginning about uh, circular processes, industrial symbiosis, you can reduce a lot uh, your waste and also uh, your inputs that you need, like energy, water or any other materials that you will need. The second aspect also, it's in terms of flow. Uh, because the industry are producing uh, some products or uh, services, but the law is made in a such a way that it only supports linear process. And we need to change this law. Uh, I think the main goal of Ultimate is first to illustrate that circular economy and especially the for water um, is possible. and. Uh, that it works and we can make it. How important is water for policy makers? First, we need really to raise the importance of water, the value of water, and uh, to push the policy maker uh, on this topic. So you have already, for example, the MEP Water Group who raise the importance of water, uh, but we need to repeat, repeat and repeat uh, that water is everywhere. Uh, when 80% of our economy depend on water and three jobs over four. So how can then water projects like Ultimate and NextGen contribute to EU policy? You follow the EU agenda and when they revise the legislations, you push them to say, hey, here you have water and you need to consider the value of water and maybe exploit the value in water or push for our green grain infrastructure or digitalizations. You prepare some uh, positions, you, you stress one key element, and you, you try to organize uh, events or to meet directly uh, the relevant policymaker at the EU Commission, in the Parliament, uh, or the Member State. So do you think that um, circular economy is gaining momentum? I think yes. Um, we see, for example, with the at the EU level with the Circular Economy Action Plan that the Commission is opening up the possibility to have more reuse uh, across our economy. And uh, we have now the revision of the Industrial Emission Directive and also the Urban Wastewater Treatment Directive. And that is the two key legislation that uh, we can have a real impact uh, in the coming years uh, in Europe for pushing for circular economy and industrial symbiosis.